Hello friends, this video on body movements part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So the question is, why can we rotate our wrists fully but not the neck? So when you think of uh, your wrist, as I said, you can rotate it completely. Just try it out yourself just now. So what do you see? You can rotate it completely but when it comes to your neck, you can just move it right and left. So back and forth either right side or the extreme left side but you cannot rotate it completely so why that difference why is the neck moving in a different way than the wrist so there has to be some difference right so here we will talk about where can we move our body where what are those points where we, our body part is capable of being moved so these for example when you move your arm like when you are playing badminton, you can move your arm from the elbow part. So you can actually feel that something is fixed here and you can move it from here. Again, you can feel that something is fixed here, but you can move your hand from here. So from here, you can fully rotate. From here, you can just move it back and forth. Again, from the wrist, you can move, rotate it completely. When you look at the fingers, again, the fingers can be moved, but they can only be bent. So you see, there are some specific points from where you can move your body. So what is so special about these specific points? What is special about the elbow, wrist, the shoulder part and the fingers? What, what is there inside them which allows the movement in these parts? So here comes the concept of joints. So at each of these points, there are some joints present. So now the question is, what is joints? So joints, the, what is the meaning of joint? A point where two things are joined. So that's the joint. And these joints allow movement for that particular part. So wherever we have joints inside our body, some kind of flexibility is there. So what exactly are joints? So joints are the points of contact between bones or bones and cartilages. So let's look at this picture. So here you see this is a bone. This is another bone. So where are the two bones connected to each other? What is their point of contact? So this is their point of contact. So this area would be called a joint because this is the place where two bones are joined. Now similarly, it is not always necessary that bone, a bone will always be joined to a bone. Sometimes a bone might be joined to a cartilage as well. So what is a bone? What is a cartilage? We will learn about them also in detail. So muscles, bones and joints, they together help in movements. So here we saw that those points of our body where movement is possible. So everywhere we have a joint. So everywhere we have two bones linked or one bone linked to another cartilage or things like that. So it, it is like this. Let's say these are different. Now when you think of um, a scenario where people are dancing. So what do you see? Different parts of the body are moving. For example, you see the knee is bending, the arms are moving, fingers are moving, neck is moving. So at each of these points, you have a joint and these joints result in movement. Now joints alone cannot cause movement. Bones, muscles, joints, all of them together help in movements. So let's say when you move your arm, what happens? Let's say when you stretch your arm and you fold, fold your arm. In both the scenarios, what happens? The joint at your elbow, it helps in the movement. So you see the muscles here, they contract, they expand as a result of which that movement is possible. So we will learn about it in detail a little later. Now when you talk about joints, there are many different types of joints. So if you look at your, let's say your arm, so shoulder is one point, elbow is another point, wrist is another point where you can make movements. But it is not necessary that at each of these points you can make similar type of movement. For example, at shoulder you can rotate your arm completely. At the elbow you can just move it back and forth. You cannot rotate it completely. Again at wrist you can rotate it completely. So at different joints you can move to different extent. So, there are three types of joints, fibrous joint, 
cartilaginous joint and synovial joints so each of these joints have a specific property based on which different joints behave differently thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again